You're welcome to Open Heaven's Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God. I'm Salam Manager Haruna, your host. We are glad to have you. Hello, good day, and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heaven's written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboe, the General of Ourself, the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Friday, the 19th day of April 2024, and our topic for today is Your Morning. Let us pray. Our faithful Father, we worship you. We thank you for the privilege to be alive. Thank you for yet again bringing us before you to learn of you. We ask that you be revealed to us today in the name of Jesus. Speak to us. Cause us to have hearing ears and obedient hearts. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 1. Ecclesiastes 12 verse 1 reads, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 1. Our text for today is from the book of Lamentations chapter 3. We will be reading verse 27. Lamentations chapter 3 verse 27 reads, It is good for a man that he bear his yoke in his youth. Lamentations chapter 3 verse 27. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more is your morning. And in the body of today's devotional, our Father and the Lord says to us that specifically, the morning of a man stands for his youth. In 1 John chapter 2, verse 14, Apostle John said, I have written to you young ones because you are strong. The major characteristic of youths is their strength. I know most youths see their youthful days as days to enjoy themselves. This is true. According to Ecclesiastes chapter 11 from verse 9 to 10, which reads, Rejoice, O young man, in thy youth, and let thy heart cheer thee in the days of thy youth. But know thou that for all these things God will bring thee into judgment. Note that the above passage also says that youths will account for the seeds they sow later in life. Those that spend their youthful days engaging in all sorts of vices will reap plenty of trouble later in life. Galatians chapter 6 verse 7 In Genesis chapter 49 verse 1 to 4, when Israel was about to die, he called his children together and began to prophesy about their future. He said concerning Reuben, Mighty Reuben, excellency of strength, but you will not excel. Why did he say this? In Genesis chapter 35 verse 22, Reuben did something that he should not have done, and his father heard about it. Now, when his father was about to die, he told him he would not excel even though he was the firstborn. When you read Revelations chapter 7 verse 1 to 5, you will be amazed that by the time they were listing the children of Israel who were sealed, Reuben was no longer the first. Beloved, if you are young now, meaning that you are less than 30 years old, make good use of your youth. Be careful of the kinds of seeds you sow now because you will reap their fruits later and the harvest is always greater than the seed sown. 1 John chapter 2 verse 14 reads, I have written unto you, young men, because ye are strong and the word of God abideth in you and ye have overcome the wicked one. The above passage does not only say that you are strong as a youth, but also that the word of God is to abide in you and you are to overcome the wicked one. Your youthful days are the days to soak in the word of God like never before. This is the time to memorize as many scriptures as possible. Now is the time to build your spiritual strength to stand against the devil and overcome him. Use your strength to do a lot for God because a time will come when you will discover that being a youth does not last forever. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. 
Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more is your morning. Yesterday we studied the topic your day and our Father and the Lord explained to us in that study that we had three major stages of a man's life. He made us understand that the morning is the time for growing up. He also said it is the time for joy. Hallelujah. He told us also that we have the afternoon season of a man's life and this season he says is when you are at your peak and the sun is at its brightest. He told us that the noon is the peak of life. Then we have the evening and the evening we were told is when things begin to become dim and the sun is about to set. We learned from our study yesterday that your evening is when you begin to round off your life. We were told that it is pertinent to know which part of our day we are in so that we can act wisely and make the best out of it. Today we are considering in our study the topic, your morning. One very important thing our Father and the Lord makes us understand in today's study is that in the days of our youth, we sow seeds that we will reap later in life. It means for every of our actions or inactions, whether good or bad, there will be consequences. And in the fullness of time, we will reap the rewards for them. We are made to understand from our study today that one of the advantages the youth has is his strength. Scripture tells us in Proverbs chapter 20 verse 29, the glory of young men is their strength. However, it is important to note that as beautiful as being strong and full of strength is, it is important to maximize the use of it because it will not last forever. It is quite unfortunate that just like our Father and the Lord mentions in today's study, many young people decide to use the days of their youth for enjoyment. Our memory verse for today is very specific in its instruction to the youth. It says, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. While growing up, I came across a book titled Battle for the Young, written by Bragbile Akani. That book explains how important the youthful years of a man's life is. It revealed that there is a constant battle for supremacy and lordship over the life of the youth. God wants them for his agenda, but the enemy is also fighting to ensure he has them too. He wants to take over their hearts and their minds. The battle is tough and fierce, but you, O oh young man, have the choice to make. In today's study, our Father and the Lord tells us that those that spend their youthful days engaging in all sorts of vices will reap plenty of trouble later in life. The beauty of being in the morning season of your life is that you have life before you. The possibilities of what God can do through your life are limitless. It is like a blank check before you. Everything is possible, but you will have to cooperate with God. Hallelujah! Do not say like many others will say that I will surrender and do God's work tomorrow or when I am older. Our memory verse once again tells us, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. Not tomorrow or when you feel like now I have enjoyed life. Let me now have time for God. I remember listening to one of our fathers of faith, Bishop David Oedipo, when he was talking about the importance of starting early. One of the advantages that you have as a youth is that when you start with God early, you have the potential to go very far with Him. You will enjoy the advantage of strength and time, and if He tarries, you will conquer so much ground. So why delay? Why postpone your work with Him till tomorrow that you are not even sure of? Scripture tells us in Lamentations chapter 3 verse 27, which is also our text for today, that it is good for a man that he bears the yoke in his youth. Hallelujah! It is not news that as a youth, you will face one or two challenges along the way as you transform and transit into the different stages of life. It is therefore important to be equipped and prepared. We are told in today's study, to arm ourselves in our youthful days with the word of God, which we know is the sword of the spirit. With this you will wrestle the enemy. We are told that this is the time to build your spiritual strength to stand against the devil and overcome him. 
any man who is not prepared before the day of battle may end up a casualty. Let God's word dwell richly in you. Scripture tells us in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 that this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then it says, Thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Hallelujah! Note that it does not just talk about success, but good success. In Psalm 119 verse 105, the psalmist there makes us understand that God's word is able to be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. The psalmist again in the same Psalm 119 tells us in verse 11, Thy word have I hid in mine heart, that I might not sin against thee. This means that even as a youth, God's word can be to you the prescription against sin. That just like medication, it always keeps you stronger than the infection of sin. Hallelujah. Now like us at this point to bow our heads today and ask the Lord for the strength and the grace to maximize the morning seasons of our lives. You may have the desire to serve God and to love Him, but so many challenges have been pulling you back. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, please grant me the grace to overcome every challenge that has been weighing me down from giving my all to you to make the most of my morning season in the name of Jesus. It is possible that you have even passed that morning season, that youthful season of your life. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, please renew my strength. Grant me the grace and the wisdom to maximize what is left. Help me, Lord, to recover all. It is possible you may be struggling with studying his word. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, please grant me renewed hunger and passion for your word in the name of Jesus. We were made to understand from our study for today that God's word is to dwell in us richly. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, please grant me a hunger and a thirst for your word that is insatiable. Let me keep wanting more in the name of Jesus. Maybe you have been struggling with wrong and negative influences. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, please grant me the grace for a fresh start. The grace to do that which I need to do, please grant unto me in the name of Jesus. We were told today that the morning season of our life is when we sow seeds that we will reap later. Ask the Lord today for the grace to sow the right kind of seeds. That we will not sow seeds that will cause us to say, had I know in the name of Jesus. We will not sow seeds of regret. Instead, our lives will be shining examples and we will reap great harvests of the beautiful and bountiful seeds we will be sowing in the name of Jesus. Begin to thank the Lord and appreciate Him for answers to prayers even as you bring your prayers to a close. Father, we thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen, our gracious Father and King. Thank you for your word to us today. We ask that the grace to maximize the morning seasons of our lives and to have our youth renewed like the eagles you grant unto us. Thank you, our Most High Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have a key point in our study for today that tells us, dedicate your youth to knowing and serving God without limits. We receive the grace today to maximize our youthful years in the service of the Lord in Jesus' name. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of 2 Kings chapter 6 down to chapter 8. We want to thank you and appreciate you for joining us today. You are blessed. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. Do well also to like, share, comment and subscribe to our various platforms available. Our hymn for today is the hymn 7 of our Open Heavens devotional. We will be singing, I am thine, O Lord. Have a remarkable and memorable day ahead. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. God bless you and bye for now.
I believe today's devotional blessed you. We are always glad to hear from you. So leave us a comment. Let us know how this has blessed you. Also remember to follow us on all our social media handles to get more like this. You can share this with someone to bless them too. We gladly look forward to seeing you tomorrow again. Have a fulfilling day ahead. God bless you.